I'm is denying that trans people exist by asking are you, you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you are denying that trans people like this thing. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, no, no. They're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow. I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot I just know. in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. <laughs> Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important because of my us, line of questioning. Because so we can't talk about it. Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm is denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that there, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think. Women can get <laughs> so you are pregnant. denying that trans people like this thing. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you, Absolutely. or are they also treated like this, where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're question. opening up people to oh, violence? We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot just I know. in this exchange. Absolutely extraordinary. <laughs> Roe was terrible constitutional law. It invented, fabricated really, a constitutional right from thin air. And scholars across the political spectrum believe the case was wrongly decided. Roe took from the American people the ability to protect unborn life in an exercise of raw judicial power. As a result of Roe, the United States has been an extreme outlier in abortion law, being one of only a few countries, countries like China and North Korea, to allow elective abortion for any reason up until the moment before birth. Tragically, Roe was as wrong about women as it was about the Constitution. Last question for you, Ms. Hawley. Can men become pregnant? Biological women may become pregnant. 